From your local election headquarters, today marks the last day to register to vote for the upcoming city elections in Indiana, and the clock is ticking. Eyewitness News Ben Walls with how you can make sure that you can vote and what we can expect for early voting. The last chance to register to vote ahead of November 7th municipal elections is today. Voter registration will remain open at indianavoters.com until 1159 tonight. And the only thing you'll need to register is a state issue ID, like a driver's license or passport. You have a choice to select the people who's handling your money. That's the bottom line. And whether, whether the person you support gets elected or not, the, if you vote, then the people who hold those offices still answer to you. As the window closes for voter registration, in-person early voting starts tomorrow in Indiana. Secretary of State Diego Morales says early in-person voting will be available at your local county clerk's office. But voters in Evansville will have to submit their ballots at the Evansville Vandenberg Central Library beginning at 9 a.m. tomorrow. It's located about a block away. State statute says the clerk may designate another location for voting purposes. It really started during the pandemic and it was one of those things that was actually kind of popular because sometimes it's hard to find parking for the Civic Center. People may not necessarily uh, like going through all the security that you have to have to go in and out of the Civic Center. The Vanderburg County Elections Office tells us residents have began thinking about the November elections. Despite not knowing the exact numbers, Elections Office staff members say the voter registration deadline has kicked off the request for absentee ballots. One resident thinking ahead is Gary Allen Glass, who will have to mail in his ballot since he'll be away from a polling location on Election Day. I think that um, it's really important to make sure that if you want uh, certain things to happen in city government or uh, within our county, that uh, you, you should cast your vote so that, that your voice can be heard. From your local election headquarters, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.